This is not the time for complacency. While we continue to receive encouraging news about COVID-19 vaccines and remain cautiously optimistic about the potential for new tools to start to arrive in the coming months, right now, we are extremely concerned by the surging cases we are seeing in some countries, particularly in Europe and the Americas. Health workers and health systems are being pushed to the breaking point. This is a dangerous virus which can attack every system in the body. Those countries that are letting the virus run unchecked are playing with fire. There is no excuse for inaction. My message is very clear. Act fast, act now, act decisively. A laissez-faire attitude to the virus, not using the full range of tools available, leads to death, suffering, and hurts livelihoods and economies. It's not a choice between lives or livelihoods. The quickest way to open up economies is to defeat the virus. One very encouraging thing is to see that at least with the two mRNA vaccine results that we've heard, Pfizer and Moderna, that we seem to be achieving high efficacy. But there are many, many questions still remaining about the duration of protection, the impact on severe disease, the impact on different subpopulations, especially the elderly, as well as the adverse events beyond a certain period of time. So we also hope that the clinical trials will continue to collect data, because that's really going to be important for us to know about in the long term. And we're looking forward to getting more results in the coming weeks from the other uh, vaccine trials that are, that are currently in progress. Of course, as I mentioned, there are challenges in the implementation, but we are also aiming with, through the COVAX facility in ensuring that countries will have a chance to opportunity to to have access to the vaccines they prefer in due time and that we don't have a, a long lagging period between uh, these vaccines reaching developing countries and developed countries. And so the importance of having achieved, uh, if, you know, if uh, obviously the data need to be reviewed by regulators and a full, a full analysis of, of the data needs to be taken and these trials need to be completed as um, Sumia has emphasized. But this is, um, there was a, a really nice analogy recently about getting to vaccine efficacy is like building base camp at Everest, but the climb to the peak is really about delivering the vaccines. And, and this cannot be overemphasized that the people who need to receive these vaccines um, uh, are the ones who um, really are the, are the focus now.